Now it's time to learn a little bit about Wichita State. And first we start off with the men. Head coach Paul Mills in his first season for the Shockers last season. Wichita State went 17 and 15 overall, 9 and 9 in conference play. They end up finishing sixth in the American, reaching the tournament quarterfinals. And this year they're picked preseason number eight. And we're now joined by Coach Mills, first year coach at Wichita State. What was the first order of business for you when you took over? Uh, find a house. <laughs> yeah, you need to find some place to live after two months in a hotel. You kind of want to get settled. But I think any time that you go into a new program, you know, the goal is to observe. You know, you want to get to know your players. You want to get to know who they are. You know, how, how does this fit? Who, who are they as people? And, and then you have to kind of set a standard. Like, what are the expectations? But I think it was a lot of observation um, through the first two months and really just trying to get to know uh, who they were as people and who they were as players. Coach, how much of that standard is, is almost defined by some of the history? I mean, recent and, you know, we'll go back a couple decades of history at Wichita State. So how, how do you combine the two? Yeah, well, when Fred Van Vliet was there earlier this year, he said in the last decade, we've gone to Final Four yes. and been undefeated. <laughs> yeah. uh, so the expectations are high. People love Shocker basketball. Oh, yeah. and Wichita, Especially when you're really good. Yes, <laughs> and, and, and I told people there, I get it, the expectations are high, and you guys should still be nice to me because we are undefeated. Yes. Uh, and so, uh, but Wichita being the largest city in Kansas, uh, people support Shocker basketball, and there's a large history there. Uh, it's a passionate fan base, and so you're excited to be in a situation where people have a high care yeah. factor about what occurs on the court. Well, that being said, I mean, this is a community that loves their basketball, and in a way, a community loves certain things on the floor, right? Identity pieces. Are there any things that you want to make sure your teams represent because that in and of itself represents the community? That's a great point. Like, people, want, they need to see representation on the basketball yes. court. Hey, we go to our jobs. We work hard. Yes. We take pride in what we're doing. They want to see that manifested in these young men they when they play, no yeah. doubt. And so no, knowing that the city is very much a, a blue collar city, yep. um, knowing the support that it generates, because again, there is no football at Wichita State. Yep. Uh, people really care about this. There is no pro basketball teams in the yep. state of Kansas. Yep. So people support the Wildcats and the Jayhawks, and they really <laughs> support the Shockers. So people do want to see representation and it's important that they see that level of work uh, day in and day out on the basketball court. So you said court. there was no pro basketball teams in Kansas. You just mentioned yeah. the Jayhawks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Coach, you're 48 hours removed from Shocker Madness. You mentioned the support from the community, these fans. What did you enjoy most about seeing the community come out and support the team? When, when you walk up and you see a line that's, you know, like 600 yards long uh, two hours before, and Pretty you're long. like, man, it's free admission. You don't need to uh, stand outside, but people wanted to get in and have an opportunity. Uh, we were able to recognize all of our student athletes from, you know, from the golf teams to the tennis team to everybody and then to be able to play so that they can get some idea about what's going to occur and, and in essence we were just trying to show off our athleticism uh, we, we had gone earlier that day but uh, again the support is great uh, it's rare uh, not every place that you go to are you going to be able to get 10,000 plus in an arena but Coke Arena obviously has that kind of support you're really challenging your team here in this non-conference schedule with what you have coming up early on you know, with Mizzou. Uh, take a look here, Kansas State, Kansas, to get your team ready for conference play where you'll have Memphis and Florida Atlantic. What went into sort of the, the schedule decision making and what are you looking forward to with those yeah, matchups? Yeah, when you come in and take a job March 22nd, a lot of those decisions <laughs> are already been made. made. Yeah. You know, and I, I told our athletic director, Kevin Saul, it was phenomenal. I just said, man, at Missouri, Kansas State, yep. Kansas, yep. hey, we'll take it from here. All right, I don't yeah. need any more <laughs> assistance. But, uh, you know, it, it's good. I mean, people want to see those games. Uh, we want to play those games. So that opportunity, you know, you mentioned the Memphis game, but being able to play that on CBS. So to, uh, to give our players the coverage, but to represent the American Conference and to be able to play well uh, regionally and nationally is important. Taking the job, how did you view 
Wichita State basketball. I always, I always wonder because it's like there are a lot of jobs out there that maybe come up and you say, that would be a good job. Like, how, how did you view this position? You know, in its present moment, I think. Yeah, when I was at Oral Roberts University, I would often reference teams that had gone to the Final Four in the last decade who who didn't have football. Yeah. You know, we're aware of yeah. Gonzaga, but we're also aware of VCU. Yes. And, and you're aware yep. of Wichita State and Loyola Chicago, yep. uh, teams that have done it. So I do believe it's one of the premier yeah. uh, programs in the country. Uh, but it's not, quote, unquote, a mid-major program. Yes. That's a national program. Yes. And people have a great deal of pride uh, in Wichita about the basketball yeah. program. And so uh, the expectations are high. You, I don't know why you'd want to go anywhere where yeah. they're low. Uh, and so the, the resources, the support, all of those things made it really attractive. Low expectations are stepping stones. Right? Yeah, you don't, you don't want those. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, we appreciate you joining us today. We're now going to turn it over with one of the players returning for for you, Kenny Poto is standing by right now with Mike McDonald. Mike O'Donnell. That's okay. Sometimes I forget my last name too, Morgan. It's okay. Kenny Poto. All right. Now we're talking about somewhat of a new era in Wichita State. You're the veteran. You know, you're the old guy. And they're looking to you for veteran leadership. Is that something that Coach Mills talked to you about when he got to campus? Yeah, I mean, I've been here for like six years now, so it's like kind of my my turn to step up and be that leader and take the leadership role and help the younger guys and just the team overall in um, the little things, the details, just like talk with them, uh, especially the younger guys. I mean, uh, since I've been there and done that, so I mean, like I've been trying to like get on with the freshmen and the, uh, the new guys from, uh, like they're from overseas too, so I know how it is to come from uh, my different country and my first year in the United States is like, I've been talking to them a lot and trying to help them on their track to on, on their college career. Yeah, you got to pass it down. Someone exactly, did it for yeah. you, and you got to pass it down to the young guys. Yeah. So, how has it's a ton of new faces for you guys this year? Um, and before we talk about Coach Mills, I mean, some of the guys on the court are coming from all over the place. Some some major conferences, some other you know young uh, players as freshmen. How's everybody gelling so far? I mean. We went to Greece. That was a great like experience for us. A great um, team bonding trip for us. It was great for us on the court and off the off the court. I mean, we got to bond a lot, and I feel like when we got back, we felt like a lot more as a team uh, collective, and uh, I felt like the chemistry was a lot better after we came back from that trip. And like you said, people coming from everywhere, different countries, different uh, conferences, different different places. I mean, I feel like it's been day by day. We're getting like closer and closer to each other, and we. Feel like we're improving every day. I can't beat that trip to Greece too. That's a good spot right yeah, there for great sure. Spot. Yeah, great yeah, spot. no question, no question. Yeah. So, Coach Mills, his system, obviously, you know, you've been kind of a mainstay for Wichita State here for a number of years in a particular system. Mm -hmm. New system comes in. What kind of style of play on the court, maybe offensively? Let's start there. Should we expect to see from the Shockers? Oh, Mills wants to play a lot faster than we've been than we've been playing. I mean, uh, he wants to. Uh, have, um, a lot, a lot better pace, a lot like faster pace. I mean, um, we've been running a lot in practice to get in shape, and that's been like a big, um, uh, like factor getting in shape. And so we've been, for the smallest mistakes, we're running, man, like we're running a lot, <laughs> and he's making sure we're in shape for the faster pace that he wants to play at. I miss the games. I gotta say, I don't miss the conditioning, though. So I don't. <laughs> I don't envy you at all, man. Uh, yeah. The um, the the new system, the new players, everything coming into place. But you specifically, Kenny, we, you and I were talking, you know, right before we came on air. I actually called one of your games when mm -hmm. you were at Sunrise Christian, and one thing that I noticed right away is outside of your feel for the game, I love the way that you pass, but. You were uh, very consistent from the three-point line as well, and it's something you're building into in mm -hmm. college. Is that kind of what your summer has been like? You've been stepping out beyond the three. We're going to see a little bit more threes from Kenny Poto. Yeah, so, you know, I started with, like, shooting threes a lot in my freshman year, and then sophomore year uh, didn't go as well. Um, moved my game more inside and was scoring a lot inside, and that was effective for me. And um, But, like, this year, this summer, I've been working a lot on the three points so I can... I have more like uh, versatility, versatility to my game. I added to, uh, added, not added the three point shot, but like took it back, you know, like, so it's, it's going to be there this year. Uh, yeah, it, it takes time, right? Basketball players are always made during the summer and you got to get up shot yeah. after shot after shot. And I think everybody's shots. ready for that arena to kind of get rocking this year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So um, 
with this season and with new coach and new players. And we talked about kind of what you can expect. And then we talked about from your game too. Are there any new guys that you think are kind of starting to find their rhythm inside the new system and the Wichita State culture? Uh, yeah, I mean, we got a few new guys. Um, Harlan, Beverly, we got Bijan Cortez, Jacob Germany, just in a few of them. Um, and we got also Dalen from Missouri State. He, he's, a, he's a force on the offensive glass. He can rebound the ball for sure. And then we got this, the guys I named. I mean, they're day by day getting better and getting more used to the system. And like we're getting, as I said earlier, as a, as a team, we're bonding a lot better and finding each other in the offense, like trying to like figure out like um, what, who can do what. And, like, um, and I feel like Bijan is a really good facilitator and he'll find you. And, um, Harlan can score the ball. Yeah, I mean. As a, as if you've got a good facilitator as a point guard, that's good for you. A little exactly. pip and pop action, uh -huh. you know what? That's good stuff. I love that. Appreciate your time, Kenny. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Back you. to you, Morgan. Thank you so much, Mike and Kenny. And Coach Mills in his first season, well, we've also got a first-year head coach on the women's side, Terry Nooner, in his first season. They went 18-15 and 15 last year overall, 6-10 and 10 in the conference, ended up going as the eighth seed beating South Florida. Really exciting tournament game. Picked this year to finish 11th in that coach's poll, but we know that means yeah, nothing. Coach, yeah, good to see you. Great to have you here in the conference. You really spoke it into existence. You told Coach Schneider when you were at Kansas, yeah. you wouldn't leave for a job, a head coaching job, unless it was at a place like Wichita State. How have the dreams lived up to the reality? It's really been awesome. I was just telling somebody the other day, I wish I could figure out what my mindset was when I spoke that day so I can speak it about the Powerball or something maybe <laughs> we can bring that in a, a year from now but it's been awesome um, the team has been very receptive and very open to you know doing things a, a different way um, with me and my staff um, they're working their tails off um, Wichita has been awesome for me and my family and you know they've welcomed us with open arms and we receive a lot of love everywhere we go where there's restaurants and grocery stores and that kind of <laughs> stuff so it's been great so far. Your only senior DJ McCarty who's come with you today at the thousand point club is mm -hmm. possible for her so you know for a college player and just just to say one thing individually about that <laughs> to, to hit that mark is a really big deal right yeah. especially at a place like Wichita State so for, yeah. for her to do that and to be your only senior on this team. What kind of leadership are you hoping to see from her? It's been awesome. I mean, she was the first person. I mean, uh, I kind of tease her about it now, but she was in a portal when I first got hired. And um, I, I spoke to her once I got the job and asked her if she could just come practice and see how we do things and then, you know, make a decision on if she would want to come back. And she came to one of our practices and, and called me the next morning and came in and met and said she wanted to stay. So that was that was just huge for us, um, being able to, to bring back our leading scorer from last year, getting her to come back um, for her senior year and just a d dynamic score and her speed and the way she can attack the basket. And she's connected to all the, t all the players on the team. So her leadership has been great for us. You mentioned leaving Kansas for this type of program. This type of program, we're talking to Coach Mills, it's it's a national program yeah. with a foundation built around the community. Yep. And you mentioned moving here, your family getting connected. How important is that stuff to, to a new coach in a place that has such strong community ties? It's been awesome. I mean, I mean my family is... is top priority for me and it makes the job easier when you're when your wife and your kids are happy yeah. in the spot that you that you're in they get to come up and watch practice and hang out with the team all and the it makes, time but and it makes building the basketball family that much easier yes. right yes yeah. it does because i you know like i have one of the things we talk about when we talk to recruits was is family and the staff that i put together i feel like they're all like my family so we really have tried to foster and create a big yep. time family atmosphere which then you become a reflection of the community itself yep Yep, and, and, you know, I've been in Kansas. I played at KU and worked at, uh, worked at KU the last few years, so I understand the amount of support and the love for basketball in the state, so I'm just happy to be at a place like Wichita State that has shown great support for basketball. And, I mean, we had the TBT games yep. this summer. We had almost 8,000 people that showed up for games, and they were rabid and they were loud. And yep. So it's just good to be at a place that really supports women's basketball. Yep.
Coach, going back to recruits and, and being in the transfer portal, looking for the types of players that you wanted here at Wichita State, what was it? What's the DNA, the type of young woman that you're looking for to come play for you? I mean, I think the biggest thing is we, we like people to have a chip on their shoulder and have something to prove. I think that's a big part of, of what's been my career and always having to prove myself, whether I was a walk-on going to play for, at Kansas um, as a walk-on, the number one team in the country. So I think that's just always been a big part of how I've been throughout my life. So having kids who are versatile and just want to go somewhere else and, and prove that whatever problems they may have had at different places, that they're not their problems and they can have success at Wichita. Who defines that on your roster? If there's one player that you had to put your finger on, who is that chip on the shoulder? Uh, I would say Treasure Joe. Uh, she's a, a Division II uh, All-American, averaged a bunch of points. She's mm -hmm. from Wichita Wichita, so she's a hometown kid. She was a state champion, um, but the bigger schools really didn't give her a shot out of high school, despite all the, su the success she had. And she was just big time in, in, in at Emporia State University. And once she went in the portal, you know, BCS, SEC, uh, Big Ten, Pac-12 schools were all trying to get her to come, you know, play at the highest level. But she wanted to stay at home and wanted to help us build a new thing at Wichita State. Well, that's exciting because you have a player who's capable of going somewhere bigger but says something about you, your yeah. staff, and your program. What do you think it was that DJ said yes and that you're able to keep you know, th this type of really great chemistry and community going into the season? I mean, I think the biggest thing is, is uh, me and my staff, we're, we're authentic, we're real, we're honest. Um, we know how to love you when you need to be loved. We know how to crack a joke when you need to hear a joke. We know how to get in your – behind when we need to get in your behind so we we cover all the different levels of what I feel players lead, need and players want open open and honesty all the time and that's what they get from us and I think that's what those two young ladies really want to be a part of. Coach welcome to the American excited to have you as a part of this conference and looking forward to seeing what you do here in year one at Wichita State. Great Appreciate thanks for having time. me. Thanks coach. All right. We switch